Josai with our Arduino Inventions. Welcome back to another video. Uh, today we're going to do part two of a series that I've named Getting Ready for Christmas Lights. Uh, so I have everything set up outside, so we're just going to pick up where we left off with part one and look at how everything's working. So let's get right to it. So first we're going to start where all the data is sort of created and where it all starts. So over here we have our power coming in. This one is for the computer and then this one's for the FM transmitter. So you can see the computer over here, and this is where all of our code is coming from. Uh, so we have this data cable here, and this is actually running uh, through a hole in our house. It's going outside into the control box that we'll look at in a little bit. And then you can see the audio cable coming out of the computer, and that's plugged into the FM transmitter in the far back. So that's basically everything inside. Now we'll go, now we'll go take a look at the control box. So here is the control box. Uh, just a little review from last video. Here is our data cable coming in here, and that's coming from inside. And here is the Arduino. Uh, here are all of the data, the cables going to the relays. Now you'll see one difference is that we have solid state relays now instead of mechanical relays. So I switched because mechanical relays, they're mechanical, they wear down after a while. It just aren't as efficient. Solid state relays are about twice the cost, but they uh, switch faster and they last longer and just are more efficient really in the long run. So that's why I went ahead and switched to solid state relays. So everything is still the same, it's just a little different type of switching. I also put a lone mechanical relay over here, as you can see, on the fan. And that's just because I didn't want the fan running 24-7 and making it so I had to replace a fan in here every two days. So other than that, everything is basically the same. So now we'll look at the front of the box. So here's the whole box. Here's the front of the box. So last time you saw us, this was all empty. Now we have everything set up and all of the things are plugged in and going where they need to go. Now it's a little bit of mess on our porch, but... It works and everything's plugging in just fine. So that's basically all the stuff on the front of the box. Now we'll go look at actually some of the lights. So here is our whole house and we'll just start from left to right. So first over here we have our left bush. This bush has 140 lights on it. So pretty self-explanatory there. And everything has its own extension cord running to it. So you can see we have one going into the bush, one going up there. So here we have our across the house lights, and there's our peak lights. And we'll go take a closer look at those on the other peak. Then here on our windows and garage, we have some lights around those. And the way that we did that is 3M sells some little clips that just uh, go right there and then you can uh, you stick them on there and you put the lights in and they actually worked really well so we did those all around the windows and garage here's the tune to sign now it's daytime right now so it's not lit up but you can kind of just see the cutouts but if I more get to a different view you can see there's actually lights so the way that we did this is we drilled holes and put lights through each of the holes. So as you can see on the back of here, there's a lot of holes and lights going into them. So it actually looks really good at night. Now it's not night right now, but so the whole sign lights up. So tune is red, two is green, and 89.5 is also green. And then we have a little red dot down there symbolizing the dot. So, on our door, we also have some of those uh, lights that we did with those clips. These are red, white, and green. Over here, we did the same thing on this window. Same little clips, it worked pretty well. This window is also red, white, and green. Uh, here's the box, actually. All of the cords going everywhere, <laughs> the mess. Um, and then on our balcony, the left of the balcony, the left balcony is green and the right balcony is red. So these are just uh, rope lights, so just put around there and then at the bottom we have a little clip that just kind of keeps it in place there. So there's the rope lights, so as you can see we have some extension cords coming over here, 
then here's where the majority of our extension cords, not the majority I guess, but some of them going through the step there, and these ones are going out to the trees, but we'll see in a little bit. Now let's take a little closer look at across the house. So here is the red lights that go across the house, and these just have little clips on them that go into the gutter. And then up here we have some more clips and white lights that go up and down the peak. So what we did with the across the house and peaks is we put clips on them. Across the house is about 60 feet and then each peak is about 30 feet up and down. So also on the garage here we have some white lights again with those 3M clips. So up and over and then finally down and then over here we have our second bush, our right bush, and this also has 140 lights on it. So now let's go take a look at the mini trees. They actually turned out pretty well. They are homemade. So as you can see, we have our incoming power here. And then what I did with this is I just put stakes into the ground. And then we went up. And then I have this little pole here. It's a five foot pole, but we pounded it in a foot. So I just have some zip ties at the top here. So it goes up, down, and then it goes over, as you can see, into another little stake. And then it just goes up and then it just keeps going. So we have this tree is red, the next one's green, next one's red, next one's green. So we have alternate, we have four of those, four four foot mini trees. So I think that uh, pretty much does it all. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, please consider giving it a like and subscribe. Uh, if you have any questions, comment down below. I will tell you in just a few days, I'm gonna be posting the final project where all of the lights are synchronized to music. Uh, so if you don't wanna miss that, make sure you click over here to subscribe. If you wanna see part one of the series, click over here. Till next time.